video will show you everything that the annotation tool within Brightspace has to offer. Here I am in my Brightspace course, and I'm in the Quick Eval tool where I can easily access all of my students' work that has been recently submitted that I need to grade. To access the Quick Eval tool, you can either add it to your nav bar, to the home page as a widget, or go through Course Admin, scroll down to Assessment, and find Quick Eval. From here, I can filter by either the activities or the submissions. I'm going to take a look at the spoken word poetry submission. When I click on this, I'm brought to my student's work that has been recently submitted. When I click on the assignment, I will be brought to a new space right within the same screen with their assignment, as well as a bunch of annotation tools for me to grade the paper, just like it was handed to me in person. The annotation tools that I have are all across the top here. First, I can draw if I would like to, can add a check mark to where students have done something well. I can highlight free form. I can apply the text highlighter if I would like to, to have a cleaner highlight there, or I can erase things if I do not need it to be highlighted or drawn on. Also, I can add some sticky notes as well as symbols on the page. This is a really great way to indicate to students if they've done something well or if there's next steps for them. I can add a check mark that will appear as a sticky note to let them know how they've done. I can change the color of the sticky note and perhaps my students will be aware that different colors mean different things. It's up to you how you choose to use this. That will collapse, but then when I hover over it, it shows up there. I can add as many different symbols as I would like to and create different colors along the way. Also, I can add a text box wherever I need to if there's something I would like to indicate for students. I can drag the text box to wherever I need it to be, change the font, as well as the font size. Also, I can add lines or arrows or rectangles depending on the work that I have submitted here. I can print the document if I need to. I can search within the document, which is really handy for long essays or long pieces of work. I can download the original document without the annotations or download with annotations. This allows me to see both my student work from the beginning as well as to the end as they progress. This is what it will look like when downloaded with the annotations. If I would like a full view, I can expand and here I can look at the entire page in one view. If there's multiple pages, I can scroll through easily through this tool up here I can also use the hand tool to grab different items if I need to, and I can select different options of page mode, page transition, and rotation. Aside from the annotations, I can also add some overall feedback in the form of text, as well as have my Brightspace editor here to add in different items if I would like to, or I can add attachments to my feedback here as well. I also have a rubric attached and I can assess against the rubric as well. To be able to use the annotation tool within an assignment, you need to make sure that you have a file submission as the submission type for the assignment. Let's take a look at what that looks like. When I'm creating a new assignment, under the submission and completion area, you will see submission type where you will select file submission. Also, ensure that your annotation tools are turned on under evaluation and feedback. You do not need to always use them if you don't want them, but they are handy to have. It will be turned on by default, but it's always helpful to check to make sure that it's there. Students are also able to see the annotations, which is really great and helps them to see how they're progressing in their work. And that is how you can use the annotation tool within Brightspace.